ज्ञानदीप अकेडमी इंडिया टॉप कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूशन फॉर सिविल सर्विसेज प्रिपरेशन Join us online to get most enriching experience from best faculty with excellent notes and specially designed courses. To join the batch, download Nandi Pais Academy app from Google Play Store. For more information, contact nine five double one two eight zero four six five. Hello, friends. Welcome you all to Nandi Pais Academy's daily answer writing challenge. Today's question number one: Constant tempering of curricula, that is syllabus or curriculum, without giving students knowledge of the basics. A deficit in industry instruction link. It means whatever knowledge that you gain in your colleges and schools, you are not able to reproduce or apply that knowledge in industry or for employment or for job or for livelihood earning is the important deficit. continue to the be to be the bane of country's technical education critically analyze so basically what is locus entire question goes or talks about the technical education of india technical education now technical education does not involve only engineering no it involves iits and or various technical courses then also it involves various industrial training institutes skill development programs for which we have designed curriculum so it has very vast scope but going by this entire vast scope we cannot add all those dimensions so we have to stick to the uh, important and significant technical aspects of the education so locus is technical education focus here it is ill design it is ill design and managed syllabus is affecting education industry link is the focus and what are its impact on the industry and education must be targeted see first you have to start your answer with explaining significance of technical education for industry and economic growth this point must be written in 35 to 40 words this should be your beginning what is significance like you can give example of japan you can give example of china you can give example of taiwan or you can give example of germany which was ravaged by two world war but still it is one of the largest economy why it is on the basis of technical education so first significance of technical education for industry and economic growth must be explained then tempering with this syllabus how we are tempering with this syllabus and how it is affecting uh, the link between your education and your application must be explained why and why the tempering so poor updation of the syllabus whatever tempering is being done is without any rationality without any basis poor backward forward linkages poor basics it is not focused Uh, whatever education is not student friendly how it is affecting education industry and overall world must be uh, focused and finally what should be the way forward must be written in 30 to 35 words but your main focus should be on this tempering of the syllabus and this part must be explained from the perspective of the technical education industry and link question number 2 Tokyo 2021 busts many myths about Indian sport. Points to country's emergence as a sporting nation. Your comment, your comment is expected. Means they wanted to say that this to a result of Tokyo 2021 has busted many myths. Many things have been shattered. And does it reflect or does it show that India is emerging as a sporting nation? You have to justify your answer. If you are saying yes, India is emerging as a sporting nation, you have to justify that point. If you are saying that no, India is not emerging as a sporting nation, you have to explain why India is not emerging as a sporting nation. Locus, India's performance in Tokyo Olympic. Now to short list. But while explaining who got which medal in which event on which day, while throwing how many uh, meters of javelin, then that is wrong answer. How many people participated? How many women were there? How many male were there? How many women got the medals? How many male got the medals? What is comparison with previous Olympics? This entire data must be there in within thirty to forty words. Those who have this capacity to write the things in thirty to forty words will score good marks. Other you keep on writing mains and mains and mains right now focus outcome of the performances but while explaining outcome of the performances they have straight forward asked you a question is india rising as a sporting nation explain india's achievement in tokyo olympic from medal as well as non medal perspective that is participatory 
देन हाउ इट इज शैटरिंग द मिथ एंड इमरजेंस विमेन मेडल विनिंग रूरल मेडल विनिंग एथलेटिक्स ट्रैक एंड फील्ड फाइनेंशियल कंस्ट्रेंट फेस्ड कोचिंग फैसिलिटी टेक्निकल सपोर्ट एंड अदर्स मस्ट बी मेन्शन ओवर हियर सो दैट यू कैन एक्सप्लेन दैट यस वी आर सींग मेडल बट वॉट प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ पीपल आर ब्रिंगिंग मेडल वॉट इज पॉप्युलेशन ऑफ इंडिया द अमाउंट ऑफ मनी विच इज बींग स्पेंड ऑन स्पोर्ट्स बाय इंडिया वॉट स्ट्रैटेजी वी शूड हैव एंड इज इंडिया राइजिंग एज अ स्पोर्टिंग नेशन इफ येस हाउ वाय इफ नो हाउ वाय वाय यू आर पेसिमिस्टिक वाय यू आर ऑप्टिमिस्टिक एवरी पॉइंट मस्ट बी एक्सप्लेन एंड दिस शुड बी लिंक्ड विद द स्पोर्टिंग कल्चर इन इंडिया सो You have to think. You have to think beyond the question. Unless and until you think beyond question, you won't score good marks. You have to think beyond the question. That is the only and most important. You have to understand the question. Understanding the question is at the basics of scoring very good mark. Only coming and writing answers and giving factual data will not give you good mark. What your factual data, justification, substantiation you are giving? This substantiation must have proper authentication by the data. So that's all from my side. Keep watching the videos. Thank you. Have a good day. Nandip Academy, India's top coaching institution for civil services preparation. Join us online to get most enriching experience from best faculty with excellent notes and specially designed courses. To join the batch, download Nandip Pais Academy app from Google Play Store. For more information contact 9511280465